What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you some all new exotics as well as a few old ones returning from Destiny 1. But hey guys, if you do enjoy the video, hitting that like button truly helps me and my channel out and I do appreciate that support. Okay, so now before we get into the confirmed exotics, last night I was sent an image. You may have seen it, you may not have and it's on screen now. This image is part of the Warmind DLC 2 set on the PlayStation Store. Now you may be noticing a few interesting things about this image. Firstly, but not the main concern, is the weapon the Titan is holding at the forefront of this image. This is one unique looking weapon for sure. It's also the very same weapon Anna Bray has within the Warmind cinematic, as you can see on the screen now. So what is this weapon? Now at the moment we have seen a few different styles of new weapon designs, the Bray Wolf weapons and the Ikelos weapons. This in my opinion is definitely not one of the Ikelos weapons, it just doesn't match that design theme of those much like the Sleeper Simulant. The Bray Wolf ones though I ain't sure, we've only seen a couple of these and they don't really match this, but hair could be wrong. It's definitely a weapon of interest though considering Anna Bray uses it herself. Is it a new exotic? I won't say it is because I actually don't know but it could be. But it would be interesting even if it wasn't a new exotic that there was some kind of secret quest to unlock this along with a variety of other weapons too. Bungie said they want to bring back mystery to the game. They want people to once again have that feeling of finding clues to unlocks much like what we had with the Black Spindle and the Outbreak Prime. Things are actually missing this game. It also kind of reminds me of the Raid Layer 1 weapons, so this indeed could be a Raid Layer 2 weapon possibly, that kind of makes sense, but guys we will see. Now enough about that, on to the point, and that is the weapon being held in the background by the warlock I believe, it's kind of hard to see. Upon the first glance, I thought this was the sleeper simulant. I mean, that weapon making a return would be no surprise to anyone. The whole Ikelos weapon range looked just like the sleeper. But then I started seeing many people say it's just a shotgun, which indeed does look a lot like this. So let's try and solve this mystery. Is it the shotgun? Is it the sleeper? Or is it something else? Well on screen now we can see the shotgun. Now it's quite clear to me that whatever this weapon is, it isn't this shotgun. The design along the weapon is completely different. Also the sight is way, way off. I mean it doesn't use up many brain cells to figure this out, that's for sure. There isn't even need for a closer look, this is definitely not the shotgun. So let's get an image up of the sleeper simulant from Destiny 1. I mean hey people, they kind of look almost identical in every single way. The shape of the body, the diamonds along the weapon both top and bottom match perfectly, the points around the nose of the weapon, the sight is at the exact angle and also the mere size of the weapon. I think this 100% is that of the sleeper simulant or some kind of variant of it. There's no doubt in my mind. I mean it might have a different name to match the other Ikelos weapons, maybe it's a weapon rewarded for collecting the other Ikelos weapons, so you have to collect them all first and then you are given a secret quest to complete the set and get this variant of the sleeper simulant, who knows. Although I don't agree on all the exotics being locked behind a certain amount of grind considering we already grind for the weapon within Destiny 1, but hey it might be slightly different to the sleeper, it may perform differently, we don't know. But this without doubt in my opinion guys looks exactly like the sleeper simulant. What do you think? Let me know down below. Okay so we're going to move on and if you didn't see these covers yesterday but almost everybody, I will have you covered right now. So there are a few old exotics returning. We have the Apotheosis Veil for the Warlock, we have the Armamentarium Chest Piece for the Titan, we have the Claws of Ahamkara for the Warlock, we have the Eternal Warrior for the Titan, we have the Frost EE5 for the Hunter, we have the Sealed Ahamkara Grasp for the Hunter, and we have the Suge Regime which I love this new look, looks absolutely great for sure and this is one of the returning exotics I cannot wait to get my hands on within Destiny 2. We then have a few new ones, we have the Huckleberry which is an SMG, kind of gives off that text mechanical look in my opinion, loving the design of this though for sure. We then have the Asher Weight Gauntlets for the Titan, not the best looking in my opinion. We then have the Sanguine Alchemy chest piece for the Warlock, looking pretty decent, not gonna lie. We then have this amazing looking chest piece for the Hunter called the Ophidia Spaith I believe that's pronounced, looking absolutely epic as hell. We then have the Oculus Souls for the Warlock, which is basically a hive mask. Does look cool though, it really does. We then have the Worm God Caress for the Titan, and I believe these again look absolutely incredible. 
And then to top it all off, my favourite of the new exotics we have seen so far, the hunter helmet called the Worm Husk Crown. I mean, just look at this thing, absolutely amazing. Now at the moment, people who don't know the perks and benefits of these new exotics and what they will offer, that is still news to come for me. But when we do find that guys, I will have you covered here on my channel as per usual. And guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like truly helps me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.